Okay, good morning all of my favorite YouTubers. Welcome back to another episode of Prehistoric Companions. I'm Dylan and today we're gonna do some shenanigans. I'm getting ready to go see my buddy David Bear. Uh, he said he was cooking breakfast, biscuits and gravy and pancakes, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna head back to my place and we are gonna feed some animals. We're gonna get all the snakes fed. Hopefully everybody eats today. Uh, we got some art projects going on, some designs that my mom wanted me to uh, create, some like bottle lamps. So I have some like Jack Daniels bottles and I'm gonna wrap like snakes around them and create like functional art pieces out of them. So we're gonna just see what kind of crazy stuff we could dive in today. And I thought I'd start today's video off with this beautiful view of this gorgeous valley that I live in, in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. So as you can tell, it's full-blown winter wonderland. I'm all suited up, got multiple layers on. It's an absolutely beautiful day, so I can really capture just the majesty of everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead, hop back in the car, and let's get right to it today, guys. What's up, world? What's going on, YouTube? My name's Dylan Schultz. I'm a mailman. I'm an artist. And I'm a reptile keeper. Those things interest you? Welcome to my channel and keep watching. Uh-huh. What's up, representing today? Yeah, that's what's up. Here it is, guys. I got me a nice cool shirt too that my uh, mom designed these really nice fitted shirts. I got a really cool snake here. And hey, Bear, hey, yeah, yeah, get, get the cool. back for me. Check out the back. That's already facing the right way. Check out the design. Oh, she, yeah. She, kinda, she did that? She cut out the important stuff, the Facebook, Instagram. Gotta redo them, <laughs> Mom. Gotta redo them. That's nah, cool. I'm just kidding. Though. They're cool. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. The sponge. How long do those things take? I don't know. These are going to be good, too. What do we got? Pillsbury? Mm. Pillsbury, uh. Mmm. Big biscuits. Yeah. For big Flaky, boys. Flaky we ain't layers. fucking around today. We're going to grub. <laughs> All right, so while David over here is preparing my breakfast, <laughs> uh -huh, I'm working on some designs. I got uh, I'm trying to make some ornaments, some Christmas ornaments here. Got these uh, woodcuts. Hey, Christmas is over, dumbass. Okay, so we got these woodcuts with the holes already in them and I've taken my postal t-shirt design. We have to print them mirror image reverse. That way when we, you know, place the image onto whatever surface that we're trying to transfer the copy onto, it's the right way. So to save on paper, I've copied a whole bunch of them onto one sheet here. So we'll cut those out and make lots of ornaments here. All right, so what we got going on over here? We got some huevos, eggs going on. See your buns? 
We got the biscuits. All right, we're also working on these bottle lamps. My mom gave me a pretty cool idea to uh, take old bottles and turn them into functional objects. So uh, right here is a description of like a, a lamp fixture you place on top of the bottle and make it functional. So in here, we have a simple mixture of cheap toilet paper, Elmer's glue, and water, and all-purpose uh, drywall putty. So, and that dries really hard. I wrapped some wire around this form and built like a simple armature to start building this simple form off of, and we'll gradually get more detailed with it. All right, and it's grubbing time. We got nice eggs, biscuits, and gravy, and sausage. David did an amazing job. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, I will. You don't gotta tell me. <laughs> okay, got a little bit more details packed on this bottle and this serpent here. Just trying to get the body of the snake all symmetrical and smooth. When this dries, we can sand it up and we can paint it. I might make this a freeway pied. We'll paint it as a freeway pied and see how that turns out. But for now, David and I are gonna pack things up and uh, we're gonna head over, gonna get the animals fed and then get back over to here so I can get this video uploaded tonight. And we tried to get these prints nice and clear, but as we can tell from the original, how crisp and clean that is to these. <laughs> Not nearly as clean. I, I tried, but I'll just have to have my coworker try and reprint these in a little smaller. I need them a little smaller to fit these woodcuts and get all the details on there. So this one is just a little too big. So we'll do that another time tonight, but we're gonna get these snakes fed. We're gonna get back here, work on that bottle some more. Food all set up here. Okay, we got this pinky here, and we're gonna feed this milk snake. Let's see, she is. unusual I haven't ever had issues feeding this this girl but I did only just feed her three or four days ago so she might not be hungry so let's uh, move on to the next snake all right we're gonna feed the boa here's Linguini she notices right away she's gonna take it oh yeah there we go Ooh. good strike good curl. Now this girl, she always like bites it and latches on from the side, but she's got a good grip on the head and she'll start swallowing, consuming with the head instead of sideways like she usually does. I always have to re-attempt and feed this girl because she can't swallow the mouth sideways. <laughs> what a silly girl. Alright, now we got Danger Noodle. This guy always takes food.
Now we got Vegeta, my picky guy. Let's see if he wants. Yeah, typical with this guy, not interested in food. And in my last video, I mentioned that I I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna look into the 7010 series ASR caging system for small pythons and boas. And hopefully that environment will be a lot more suitable for this guy. He'll like the dark, I just don't think that uh, there's probably too much light in this room. And maybe I need to give him a bigger hide or a better hide, something better than this log here and more enrichment. So these temps and humidity and things are on point, you know, between 55 and 65% humidity. And I try to keep the ambient temperatures up in here, you know, about 82. So he, we're working on him. She's already out. See, you filming? Mm -hmm. are for on their face that helps them detect exactly where the prey is. Wow. Alright, let's give Aussie here <laughs> an adult dubia roach. Hey girl. Uh, I didn't mention this girl. A couple days ago I came home and she just had this lump on her chin. I have no idea what that is about. I have not been giving them insects lately because they haven't been eating their salad and I'm trying to get them back on salad. I've spoiled these guys with super worms and all they really want now is super worms. So I'm trying to change that. Philo's lost quite a bit of weight since I stopped giving them super worms. Come on, girl. Let's see it. I'm working with these guys. Definitely going to get these guys scheduled an appointment with the doc. So next week, hopefully I'll have my Friday off and we'll get these guys over to Grand Junction and get them analyzed. They need a checkup anyways. Come on, girl. Here we go. and dusted for her. Yeah, it is. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Now, since I haven't been dusty or well, giving them insects the past couple of weeks, so I wonder, they have, you know, thinking that they were probably bermating and not really taking food, so they haven't been getting their vitamins and calcium. So hopefully that mass on her chin will subside. We'll just have to find out and keep, keep an eye on it. It has gone down a little bit from the first day that I noticed it. So we'll just keep an eye on it. We'll see. Just because I'm curious, we're going to take this guy's weight. See where he's sitting at. Last time I weighed him, he was like 600 grams. 
still about 600. <laughs> well, he has like 670 grams last I weighed him, so he's lost a lot of weight. 598. That's the leather back for you. Much more cuddlier. They are, like Luna's so spiky, man. Yeah, we'll have to give you guys an update. A couple weeks ago, David here got himself a, a bearded dragon, Luna. And she's quite a bit smaller. She's all like about half philo size. She's, we weighed her, she was like 350, 360 grams. Is that what she weighed? Yeah. Yeah, she's super spiky too. Very wild looking. Okay, so we had a lot of success. We had a couple failures. Vegeta, of course, didn't eat. Looney didn't eat because I just fed her a couple days ago, three, four days ago. So I'll feed her again in a couple days. Uh, Danger Noodle, Cleo, always good cleanup crew. Uh, gotta feed all the insects later, but for now we're gonna roll back over to David's crib and uh, Gonna get this video edited Gonna work on some art projects a little bit more and just enjoy the rest of the evening. So let's head back Okay, so we've got quite a bit accomplished today. We've got some snakes fed got to work on some projects. I think this bottle's coming along great, so just definitely gotta put some work into it. Uh, we'll have to inquire my coworker to see if she can uh, reprint some of those postal t-shirt designs so I can finish making the Christmas ornaments. So all those will be in a later video. Gosh, there's just not enough hours in the day and editing here takes forever. I've been doing this for four or five hours and my technology is not cooperating with me. I definitely need to invest in a good quality camera and better equipment. So all in good time and gotta save my pennies. So thank you guys for tuning in. Remember subscribe, like the video, love your mail carrier, and I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace.